Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. My name is Lou Gallagher. And I'm Corvette Ronnie. And today on our show, we're talking Fen Treasure. Um, you know, Ron, we get a ton of comments and emails on our videos. Yep. And so I want to give you that opportunity right now to do that. Here are our email addresses. As you can see, mine is Lou, L-O-U, at menaresosmart.com. And Ronnie. Ronnie at menaresosmart.com, R-O-N-N-I-E. And uh, if for any reason you'd like to contact us with questions or comments or you, know, you, can't, you don't feel comfortable leaving on our um, YouTube page in the comments below, you can email us at that address, okay? Uh, and so let's get right into it, Ron. Today, I have one that um, is kind of a part two uh, we posted in our last video some comments from Music Lyrics and Music Lyrics comments. Thanks, Lou and Ronnie, for reading my comments, poemtreasure.com, in your video. Here is something useful. The treasure chest is not, I repeat, not in Colorado because it's not mentioned once in The Thrill of the Chase. And I've been saying this online for over two years, he says. Also, every word in the poem is important, and some more than others. There's a key word that can help unlock the poem. The first stanza gives you the correct state where the treasure chest is located and other good information. Like I've said online before, let me get this a little closer because I want to get to the details here. Like I've said online before, and Forrest Fenn later backed up, that his use of punctuation in his poem isn't so important. Um, let's see, um, as long as you understand what he means, remember he wrote the poem for the average guy. Who apparently has a fifth grade education. I'll be, <laughs> nice Ronnie, really nice. Uh, I'll be on your show next summer or fall, but I won't be able to discuss where I found the treasure chest or any of the clues. Like I've mentioned online, I want to keep the story going and I want to add to it. I find it amusing that many others think that they are the lead searcher. Here's what I want to get at, because the scuttlebutt, that's the first time for that word on our yes. show, scuttlebutt <laughs> on, the, on the interwebs <laughs> is about lead searchers right now. And we'll get to one of those comments coming up in a minute. Um, he says, no one in the online search community has been perceptive enough to understand who that person could possibly be the lead searcher. Even after years of comments and basically shouting at them that I'm the lead searcher, in my opinion, the truth is, your channel is just as good and entertaining as any of the popular Forrest Fen related YouTube channels. So I guess none of them were any good. <laughs> I, I, that was kind of nice. I'm, I'm sure you meant that to be nice, but that was kind of like a little it's, slap it's right there. It's a little there. backhanded compliment. And then he finishes up. I know this is a long one, but he finishes up with, when you're up on a hill, you can see all the things below. And he ends it by saying, lead searcher. Yeah. So on that same thread... Uh -huh. Uh, there's a comment by, from Terra Novation, and he says, heard of Glenn Coughlin? <laughs> uh, so in other yeah. words, because talking about lead searcher, mm -hmm. I think he's alluding that Glenn might be the the head of the lead searchers. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, right. I has, just spoke with Glenn, by the way. Okay. Okay. Well, he's saying that Glenn has some concrete evidence. He found the spot below Blaze Mountain. Uh, it was on a small island sitting on a flat rock surrounded by a few t uh, trees. Yep. Uh, it, was in, it was there in such a way that you wouldn't find it by stumbling across it. You would find it by purposely crossing that water to get to it. The cold water will be worth the effort. So, and we, we've we actually seen Glenn's uh, comments before and commented on We had, did a whole show on, on his... Uh, it's his called song. Vanished. Yes. There's a link for it right there. So, um, I mean, really, I think people are fighting over who the lead searcher is. Mm -hmm. I think there can be a number of searchers, and we don't really even have any concrete evidence how many people are out there actually searching. Um, I've seen somebody say between two and 300. I would tend to think it's a little bit more but this time of year, I would say it's like nil. 
there's yeah. there's almost nobody out there really searching because uh, Forrest himself has said you're not going to find it this time of year. And the window is very very shuts very quickly. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, there's about three months, three and a half, depending on the weather, uh, in which you actually could get through there without digging yourself out of snow. All right. Uh, a comment from Why Why. I don't know. Uh, Tick tock. <laughs> Tick tock. I can't say for sure, but I'm guessing the lead hunter has done it tired and maybe ending this week. I've seen a lot of lead dogs this month. I'm sticking close to the notification bell on all the channels. I like the idea of a lead hunter. Apparently, most of the community does as well on the blogs. Lead hunter topics are far and uh, have the most comments. A great video, guys, no matter what they say about you. I like you guys. Well, we like you, too. Yeah. Thank you, YY. That's, uh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, there are some people that are very, very critical, and, and it's fine. You know, uh, the world keeps on spinning. Right, Ronnie? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whether you want it to or not. <laughs> and we're going to do what we want to do anyway. Right. So. Uh, and then one other interesting thing, and I honestly can't remember if it was sent via email or if it was a, a comment on one of the videos, but they make reference to a video that somebody posted where they're out in the middle of nowhere and they stumble across this Vietnam oh, Veterans right. Memorial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A very small one, a lot of marble and uh, stuff. It's kind of, I mean, it's, I wouldn't, it's not extravagant. It, it's not what you would typically think of as a memorial, uh, but it's, it's simple, but it's, you know, effective. And the person, I, th I think actually, well, I don't want to say, I'm trying to remember if it was an email or a comment, but the person says, check out at the 356 mark on this video, uh, you'll see an X. And it's right after we had talked about the Omegas mm -hmm. and the Xs. And in this video, there's a girl walking around, she's wearing a motorcycle helmet, <clears throat> excuse me. And you see, she's focusing on a, like a memorial headstone for a French soldier, and right next to it are two crossed sticks to make an X. So, it's that's somebody's idea of a joke, right? Man. Yes, I, because I, I the sticks, I mean, are going to termites and bugs are going to eat the sticks. They're not going to last. They're not going to last. The, they're not going to stand the test of time that Forrest mm -hmm. Fenn this said this hiding spot will. Yeah. So it's a like you like said it's it's a weird coincidence at the very least, but it's not something that Forrest actually put out there. And you know when you think about it, sometimes when I'm driving, I think about this, Ron. I have an idea, and I go, "Wow, that sounds like seems like a pretty good idea to me." I wonder if anybody else has had that idea. And you know what? If you actually are at the point where you ask yourself that question, there's probably 100,000 people that have that right. same idea. Right. And so this headstone has come up in many topics on forums and, and such. And so they must have had the same idea. And somebody thought, well, you know, it'll be fun. Right. Since let's, since I didn't find the treasure let's here. Let's put an X right there. Yeah, and see how long that lasts. <laughs> and that's how thing. All right, a, a couple of comments on a lighter note. Ready, Ronnie? Yes. Uh, Amy Mark says, I believe it's located by the pirates. <laughs> okay. Now, Ooh. either there's a rock formation that I'm unaware of. <laughs> <laughs> or something else. Like Johnny Depp could be out there. I wrote back, okay, Amy, I'll bite. Uh, do you mean Johnny Depp pirates? Do you mean Long John Silver kind of pirates? Mm. The Pittsburgh pirates? Please explain further. Arr, matey. Oh, that sums it up. Ron what, Davis says, what are you talking about? I'm going to sell the bracelet on eBay. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, Ron. I wrote back, Ron, I'll start the bidding at $14. Ooh, that seems low. Plus shipping and handling, of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And he says, uh, Lou, uh, Gallagher Entertainment, LOL, should have $1,000. And I wrote, okay, I'm not fooling around here. $18, final <laughs> offer. And I don't even like turquoise. That's, yeah. Well, 18 <laughs> bucks seems more than enough. Yeah. Uh, I love these comments. I really, you know what, Ronnie? We really do get a kick out of this, you and I. I think the comments are, are make the videos all the worthwhile. Making. Sure, yes. superb comments. Yeah. Uh, Zozo or Zozo plays 
says no drone involved. Oh. Someone sent Fenn a snapshot of Google Earth where he thought the chest was located, leading Fenn to believe it would be found, but the person walked on the wrong side of the creek. Now, how do you know? Yeah. Or, well, and then something I've also said before, <clears throat> Google Earth, Google Snapshots, those pictures are, in many cases, eight years old, and in a rural area that doesn't change very often, they could be even older. Uh, I know the picture of my house on Google Earth is has two cars in the driveway I no longer own, <laughs> and it, and haven't for mi several years. So it's probably at least five or six years old. I, I gotta say I can't. Have, I, I don't think I've ever looked for my house on Google Earth. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Well, I was I'm getting ready to do some landscaping front and rear, and I was going to take some measurements. Oh, you, you can okay. do on Google Earth. So well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. True freedom. Ooh. True freedom yeah. says, well, don't worry, guys. I'm a poet and an adventurer. I'll hop on a plane from London this fall, and I'll find your treasure. You know what? Good for you. That's, By jolly. That's the spirit. That a boy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Steve Klein says, 2013 was a good year for the chase. I know a few wines that 2013 was very good, but uh, I don't know what stands out about 2013, six years ago. That was, uh, I mean, when did this whole thing come about? That's right around the very beginning of it, isn't it? I think so. 2010-ish, maybe, mm -hmm. 10, 12? And it really didn't catch any steam uh, for several years. And then once it caught on, it spread like wildfire but again now yeah it's hard to say exactly how many searchers are really out there anymore uh now ronnie this is something i debated uh, tackling in this episode you know now that i think about it let's save this let's save this one for another episode Ooh, clickbait for yeah. another episode uh this is a complete solve that was sent to me i saw that okay yeah uh, let's save that for the next episode. And I think he's on to something. <clears throat> Once again, I'll give you our email addresses up on the screen here. There's mine. There's Ronnie's. Lou Gall I'm sorry, Lou at mannersosmart.com. And Ronnie at mannersosmart.com. We appreciate you watching. We enjoy the Fen Treasure adventure just about as much as any other guy, if not more. Yep. We find it extremely intriguing and interesting as we bring you ideas and thoughts on the treasure um, uh, via our comments and emails. And if um, you think you've got it, let us know. We want to have you on. Yeah. Oh, really boy, do. yeah. Uh, now, that's not to say they don't weed out the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. <laughs> a little bit of a background uh, investigation we have to do before you have you out here. but uh, If you consider yourself to be a nut, then I'm sorry if you're right. offended. Yeah. Uh, in any case, well, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. <laughs> we will see you on the next Men Are So Smart.